everybody, it's Amanda, and today for Frugal Family Food, I am making creamy bean and rice soup. This is our video for our healthy month for the Frugal Family Food videos. Of course, every week we share a video um, made by a YouTuber who shares a recipe that's uh, frugal for their family, and I'm vegan. So for Healthy Month, we try to get different people's diets just to make sure we're covering as many as we could, and I'm the representative vegan. So <laughs> anyway, this is a simple meal, totally frugal because the ingredients are so simple, but it's really tasty and it's good, especially on these cold winter days. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a mirepoix started, which is, if you don't know, it's onions, carrots, and celery in a pan with a little oil, and I'm just gonna chop them up, chop up the onions really small, chop the celery really small, which I actually already have the celery cut and frozen in my freezer, and I'm gonna shred some carrots. I have real tiny carrot pieces, and we're gonna put that in oil and let that cook down, and that's gonna develop some flavor, and then we'll move on to our next step. Okay, so this is cooked down for about 15 minutes. I do have the garlic in there. So the next thing that we're gonna wanna add is some vegetable broth. Now I'm using this. This is the Noor Homestyle Vegetable Sock. I'm gonna use two of these with seven cups of water. And so I'm gonna add that into here and tell you about the next ingredients. Okay, so we added the water and I added the Noor in here. I don't know if you can see it. Here's one of the little Noor packets in here. So we're gonna let this come to a boil. I have it on high and we're gonna let this incorporate and become a nice broth. And then we're gonna add our next ingredients. Okay, so let's talk about seasonings. You're gonna add a teaspoon of sugar. I don't know if you can see that here, the light's kind of bright, but that's just sugar in a little container. A teaspoon of kosher salt. You could use regular salt if you had it. Half a teaspoon of black pepper and a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. That's what's gonna go in here as soon as we bring that broth to a boil. So I'm gonna get my seasonings together, toss them in there, and we'll be ready for the next step. Okay, so we have a heavy boil, and I'm gonna add my sugar, salt, pepper, and seasoning. So I added all the ingredients that we have so far. It's boiling. I did turn it down, so it's gonna be a medium boil. Now we are going to add a couple of the heavier things. So cannellini beans. First thing we're gonna add, this is from Aldi. I have two cans right here, and I also have my food processor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the liquid out of these beans and throw the beans in the fruit processor and I'm gonna puree them. That's gonna be the creamy element of our soup. Now, you can puree it however, whatever the consistency is that you would prefer. I like it to be all the way pureed, but you can leave it a little um, beany if you'd like. But I, I think when it's pureed, it has that extra creaminess that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and puree this and that's gonna go in to our soup. that great but I'm just gonna stir all this bean in and it's gonna get nice and creamy okay so I am waiting for the soup to come back to a boil but while I do that because I've already stirred it and it's all creamy I'm gonna get my rice out now okay I'm gonna add some rice that's already cooked that's important your rice has to already be cooked you can use any rice that you choose um, this is a really great use for leftover rice, but I think it works best with brown rice. I think the brown rice holds up uh, really well. It's, it's kind of thicker and it has more consistency to it. So um, I highly recommend brown rice. And let me talk about some other things you can add in. This is really it. This is like a very simple, like 20, 30 minute soup that you can toss together with just a few things you have around your house. And it's really tasty and warm and creamy and flavorful and it's, it makes you happy. But you can add other things to it. Now, if I wanted to, I could add some tomatoes to it. Uh, just a can of diced tomatoes would be great and you would add that 
at the same time as you add the beans and bring it back up to a boil and, and cook it till the tomatoes are cooked and that's good. Another great thing to add in if you have it is spinach or kale. I love it with kale. Don't have any kale, otherwise I'd add kale. Um, if you are vegetarian rather than vegan, top it with some Parmesan cheese. And vegans, you can use nutritional yeast if you want too as well. Um, dishes to have with it, it's great with a salad and some garlic bread. Guys, I mean, you're talking serious comfort food here. And it's it costs pennies and it's so filling, it's gonna make you happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add probably a little over a cup of rice and put it in there as soon as this gets up to a boil and then it's gonna be done and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here's my pre-cooked rice. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. A very creamy rice soup. Now you could add some more uh, beans that are pureed if you'd like to make it even creamier but this is the right consistency for me that I like. The boys just came home and the first thing they said was how good it smelled in the house and then Marquise said that it smelled kind of interesting. So Marquise, what did you think that it smelled like? I think that it smells kind of like um, a Thanksgiving or a Christmas dressing or the stuffing the inside stuffing. of like a turkey or however you want to serve it. I thought that was a fair observation because that's like that's exactly, the ingredients. <laughs> I think it smells exactly like that. That's exactly what it smells like to me. In, in fairness, Marquise loves rice. I do. So he's excited to have some. And he's a guy and it's vegan. And you'll eat this, right? You've had oh, it before. Yeah. No, I've not had it before, but it smells had. really good. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, nope. hey. It smells great. It's going to be good. I'm going to have some. So thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to show you what a bowl looks like. All right. Here we go. The soup is completely done. It is so good. Look, I've got my garlic bread. We're ready to go. And so let me just say that this is a very simple soup. It's not complicated. It's rice, beans, carrots, onions, garlic, celery, broth, just some simple ingredients, but it comes together and makes something very filling, very comforting, very nutritious. Add a salad to it. You've got a complete meal and it's really good. So anyway, I hope you guys will give it a try. This is my vegan contribution. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us and come back next week and we'll share with you some more tips and trips to help you save. You guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye.